Hello and welcome to episode 51 of the Daily Sales Message. That means for at least the last 51 days in a row, we've provided you each and every single day with a piece of simple and actionable sales advice that's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff too. If you're new around here, my name is James Newell and I teach people how to sell for a living. And for me, it comes in two distinct parts and in this order. First of all, you need to have a clear sales message. People have to understand exactly what you're trying to sell to them. Secondly, you need to have selling confidence, the ability to be natural and communicative in a selling situation. In this episode of the Daily Sales Message, we're talking about the word bump. And in particular, we're talking about email follow-ups. And this one really grinds my gears. Low value email follow-ups are one of the worst things that you could possibly receive as a potential buyer and send as a seller. But we fall into this trap when we're following people up of just wanting to be in motion, just wanting to be taking action. And we think there can't be any harm in just emailing somebody and in this particular instance saying, uh, hi, James, just uh, <laughs> just bumping this to the top of your inbox. <laughs> but it can be quite damaging. If you're sending follow-up emails that are touching base, checking in, just bumping this up, did you get my email, blah, 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 you know the kind of low value rubbishy things that people do and maybe you do too as well because we don't know what else to say right but my advice to you is this following people up yes it's important but you have to follow people up with something that's valuable something that's of interest if you're just following people up with have you made a decision yet uh, can i have your money yet which is basically what you're saying, all these different things, touching base, checking in, etc. It's all different ways of saying, can I have your money yet? If you don't have something constructive to say, then you're better off not really following them up. And then we move to one of the mantras that I have, particularly for my selling confidence community uh, clients, which is don't chase them, replace them. So rather than obsessing about the prospects you're talking to and trying to close them, quote unquote, and getting them across the line, don't chase them replace them so don't focus so much on following these people up endlessly put a little bit of effort into finding new potential buyers and opening new situations new possibilities because when you talk to more people and you have more options you just feel better about everything and let's be honest yes following up people is important but if they really wanted to buy from you if it was important for them do they really need to be followed up really probably not yes we can be distracted by life i get that but if somebody's not coming back to you it's because they're not interested at all or it's not a priority right now and the only way for that to change is for whatever's going on for them to change when they realize yes they should be buying from you and no amount of touching base and checking in is really going to do that for them if you can bring additional information to the party that's a value maybe that will but just bumping things to the top of your inbox to go back to the title of this episode of bumping things up. To me, I just find that quite offensive because that's saying you're expecting a response and you, you're, you're doing it in kind of a jovial way. But you're kind of saying, I'm expecting a response and you need to give me a response. And unfortunately, I don't. Anyway, I'm not going to wax too lyrical about that. The moral of the story, children, is when you're following people up, make sure you lead with value. Make sure you... Give them something worthwhile. I've just used the word value, so I'll define it for you because nothing worse. What does that word even mean? For me, value is anything that's going to move your client a step closer to where they want to be. And ideally, with, without negating them needing to buy from you overall. That's how I define value. So don't bump emails. Follow them up with something valuable or don't chase them, replace them. Just find more people to talk to. <sighs> okay, I'm going to get off my soapbox now. Tomorrow, so that's it for this episode of the Daily Sales Message. Tomorrow, we're going to be, I was nearly going to sing that, let them go. It's not quite the right wording, is it? Let them go. That's the title of tomorrow's Daily Sales Message. You can probably guess what we're going to be talking about there. But hey, tune in tomorrow for another exciting 
three to six minute episode of the daily sales message if you haven't already connected with me on linkedin follow me please do so please drop me a dm always lovely to hear from listeners of the daily sales message i've had some really really lovely feedback so far of people that have used the things that i talk about people who enjoy the show questions they want me to answer etc it's really nice and i'd love to hear from you if you're enjoying listening to these episodes that i put out right that's it i'll see you tomorrow for episode number 52 of the daily sales message